Hello everyone. Assalamualaikum. This is Fanar Rahman. Today's you know, today's event is like something that will be remembered in Bangladesh in 2041. We have with us the President Sri Rish of Sir. Without any de description, he doesn't need any introduction. Uh, I would like to request Sri Rish of Sir to to join with us to the celebration for the celebration of 15th um, Victory Day of Bangladesh. Welcome, sir. Great to be here. Thank you for uh, inviting me. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, we were so thrilled to know about you people, especially Mr. Joy. He is our head of HR. Uh, welcome, Joy, sir. Hi. It's an honor to be here, and I'm really excited. Um, we would like to know, we would like to listen uh, what your people is all about and how uh, your people can help us as a Bangladesh. Um, because our Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina, he, uh, she has a dream that Bangladesh will be a developed country by 2041. How your people can help Bangladesh to achieve our goal. Thank you, sir. Sir, sir, I would like to, I would like to listen from you. So, a University of the People is a non-profit, tuition-free, accredited American online university that opened the gates of higher education for anyone who can, uh, who who wants to study for online for a, a higher education, couldn't have made it otherwise, and would like to pursue higher education tuition-free. So yeah. we are basically opening the gates to anyone. Anyone from any age, any circumstances, as long as they meet our standards and they can study with us for an accredited American degree, uh, we offer business administration, computer science, and health science bachelor degree, as well as MBA and master in education. And anyone with high school diploma can study with us as long as their English is, not, is uh, good enough and they study tuition yes. free. Tuition free means that we don't charge for the courses, we don't charge for the um, textbooks. However, we do expect the students to pay $120 per each end of course uh, assessment. So a full year for someone who study full time is $1,200 US dollars and which is very affordable definitely for an American degree. But with this amount, and with this amount, amount uh, we basically enable people to get a quality degree. We are, as uh, I mentioned before, accredited American degree. And uh, the people who run the university are presidents of Oxford, NYU, Berkeley, Columbia, and other great universities. And we have partnership with NYU, Berkeley, and Edinburgh. And basically, we believe that uh, Bangladesh is a great country. And we believe that there are a lot of people in Bangladesh that uh, want to study, but cannot do it either because uh, they don't have the money, enough money, whether because they are a little bit older, maybe because they already work and they need the flexibility. And studying with us, uh, people can combine their study, the flexibility that we offer enable people to study while they're working, while they're raising kids. It means that they can study from their cell phone, from home, from work, from anywhere they are, and do it anytime, anywhere, and it's a perfect solution. And we know that in Bangladesh, there are so many people who need this opportunity, and we would love to help them, and we would love to help Bangladesh to modernize and to have more and more people um, having the education because we all know it education yes, is the way for people to have a better future for themselves but when they are educated it's not only that they have a better future it's also their family have a better future their community and the entire country so this is the way to go forward and we would love to help as many people as they are we are non-profit so we do it because we believe that the entire world should be educated. We have students from 200 countries, and maybe mm -hmm. Bangladesh should be the biggest among our countries in the near future. Inshallah. Yeah, Inshallah. Inshallah. Yeah. Yes, sir. 
uh, I mean, the way you are, uh, you have uh, created this unique model of education is going to change the the, the view of world's view to uh, and perspective how to see the education models in different countries. I have a question, a specific question for you, sir. If if Bangladesh, if from our side, we want to collaborate with your people from government side, from, I mean, in our Bangladesh government, we have lots of um, uh, lots of education, education uh, perspective and education um, ideas to implement in different ways. For, for example, for me, when I was in school, uh, I was dreaming about uh, Harvard and this and that. But uh, I mean, in reality, I joined North South University which is also good because North South University is a uh, number one private university in Bangladesh. But somehow, for some reason, I was unable to complete my study. Um, that's why when I come to know about your people, uh, I just on the time I realized this is it for me because I'm doing job. Uh, I have my, I have to, I have to work. Otherwise, I mean, how can I survive? I'm not a rich kid, you know? So <laughs> apart from my job, I cannot study as a normal student. My question is, if from Bangladesh government side approach that your people to your people to help us in a, in a broader way, what, what and how we can introduce your people, I mean, in a government way as a broader perspective, sir? So it's, it's a great question and you touched a lot, a lot of points. First of all, yes, a lot of people exactly like you cannot stop their life and go to, to college. They need to combine it with their life. And we are the perfect solution because you can work and study with us. And while maybe you cannot uh, live, just study the only thing that you do, but you need to work as well. The combination is, is feasible with us. Second, uh, before talking about the government, I would say that anyone who is interested in studying with us uh, and can afford this $120 per course uh, should come, go online, look at uopeople.edu, again, uopeople.edu, and they can, go, they can go online, see everything, and see how simple it is to sign up and start studying with us. However, what I should say, and you as a student should know it better than those who are not, it's not easy. Okay. In order, we have high-quality it's an American degree. In order to study with us, you need to be serious. You need to dedicate the time. You need to have self. Um, you need you need to have self discipline. You know because yes, you are online and you need to do it and you need to be so. You need to have the discipline, the motivation, and you need to be hard worker. And it takes about yes, you know about fifteen hours per course in order to study with us. So you do need to devote the time and the energy and be serious. But anyone can just come and start, even before the government uh, joined, because it's an accredited American degree and everyone knows uh, the quality of American degree. Now, yes. if the government would be interested in collaborating with us, we would love to do that. And collaborating with us can go many directions. First of all, it's, um, it's helping spread the word about the opportunity. Second, maybe open centers for those who need, who don't have internet connection or need to go to a place and, and study. Uh, recognize yes. the degree and help the people to, to when they graduate, uh, to get a, a better job or, or get a promotion or get into higher education. So governments are definitely can be our partners. We would love to work with the government. So if the government is interested, we would be the first one to jump and to say, let's work together. But, you know, we, we now have 51,000 students. We double every year. Last year, we have 20,000. And we don't work with okay. the government. The people come to us, like you came to us, and people come to us because of the quality, and they continue coming to us, and we see how... Uh, in a year from now, we will have 100,000 students, and that's even before the government's coming. So what I'm saying is that if governments are interested, we would love to work with the government. But if people are interested and they have the ability to do, the, to do so, uh, and they have the motivation to do so, 
I would not recommend for them to wait. They should start right away. <laughs> yeah. Great, great, sir. When when we announce our our today's event yesterday, I mean from yesterday to till today, I have received more than fifty phone calls from different. I mean I have connection with uh, different organizations and government offices, and they are very excited. They call me, hey, Panna, what is this? I mean, we are very excited about this. I mean, most of them don't know what is your people is all about. Then I send them a link that uh, please go and check in, check uh, what is this. I mean, they they have shown very, I mean, so interesting that they, they want to join and collaborate with this. I mean, some of them was, I mean, requesting to join us live. I said, yes, you can join us live. But first, we need to listen to the man himself, Shai Shafir. Because when, sorry, you, when you uh, had your uh, conference with Harvard faculties in Harvard, uh, that video when I saw that, there was a person who was in fully, I mean, uh, not, I mean, not, not non for profit in education. You were working in your early, early days for full profit uh, education services. Correct, sir? I cannot hear you. You very well. Can you repeat the last okay. sentence? Okay. Sorry. I mean, I mean, when you were having your conference with Harvard faculty members and different, I mean, Ivy League college university faculty members, and there are some videos on YouTube. When I saw that, I realized a person like, I mean, Shai Rechepter is already is creating something that is so unique for all of us. American accredited university, American accredited certificate. It's like a like dream for all of us, especially from Bangladesh side. It was like dream that we would have American American academic certificate. But how you come to come up with this idea, sir? Initially, with the idea of the university in general, you mean? Yeah, I mean, like I mean, how how the idea comes? <laughs> how the idea yeah. came about yeah. the university? So I was in a. I was in, in education for many years, and among other things, I started the first online university in Europe. Mm -hmm. And that's mm -hmm. why I saw how powerful it is, because we had students from all over the world, including students from Bangladesh. They can study, okay. uh, keep their jobs, stay, stay at home, and still get the great education that we offer. However, at the time, it was very expensive. Mm -hmm. And most people could not afford it. I ended up selling yeah. the university and all my business. And I uh, was sitting in New York thinking, what do I want to do with myself? And I felt like it's my turn now to give back. But I realized that everything that made the university that I had in Europe so expensive is available for free. So I said, wait a second. University shouldn't be so expensive. We can have great university. Uh, to mm -hmm. So I announced that that's what I plan on doing. And hundreds of professors wrote me right away, email saying, we want to help you. And these are professors, as you mentioned, from Harvard and Yale and MIT and uh, NYU and Berkeley. They came on board and they helped creating this very high quality university but with a different financial model so we are mm -hmm. as i said it's 120 dollar per, per course or 1200 or 1200 dollars per year so a full BA is 4800 over four years which is a fraction of how much it will cost uh, to study in, in other american universities and all these yes who came on board are the people who make it, uh, who make the dream come true. And the dream is yeah. that every single person in the world who wants to study higher education and cannot do it, either because it's too expensive or because there aren't enough places, seats in the universities where you live, or because mm. there's for political reasons or geographic reason or any reason, or because they're just working and they can stop and going to college to have an opportunity. Mm -hmm. So we yeah. have the university that is extremely high quality, but also accessible to everyone and affordable to anyone. 
And, you know, if, if you have anyone who have high school diploma can come and apply. And then we tell mm -hmm. them, first of all, show us that your English is good enough. And if your English is good enough, then take two courses, pass them. If you pass them, you're accepted. Go on, you get credit for these two courses and you can continue with your entire degree. If you okay. cannot pass these two courses, either because you don't like what we offer, either because it's too hard, either because you don't have the time for any reason, probably you cannot study with us. So this way we do two things. We open the doors as wide as possible to anyone who wants to study, but at the same time, we maintain high quality to ensure that those who graduate have the right academic quality. Great, great, sir. Just now I have received one comment uh, to, to share with you, sir. He is Mr. Wahid. He works for Prime Minister Sheikh Hatina. He, uh, he is very excited. Uh, he is listening to you. And he wants to join the University of Kabul as soon as possible. Okay. So, and the answer is go to you, oh, people. That is you. Yeah. The letter, the, let, the letter you, the letter all, the word people, all at once, that edu. Everything is there, and you can become students very, very quickly. <laughs> yeah. Great. That's great, sir. And as, said, and as I said, Bangladesh is a great country, and we would love to have many, many people from Bangladesh. So, sure, it would be great. Great. I mean, yeah, now I would like to ask Mr. Joy, he is the head of HR uh, for LEC Group, how you are feeling about this all, I mean, online education system in Bangladesh. Is this sustainable for Bangladesh? What is your perspective? What do you think? Thank you, Panna. Actually, for the study, if you talk about the standard of the study in Bangladesh, still, actually, you have to go, go a long way. So, any university or any education facility like this online based platform is really accessible for us because we are not habituated of this type of university, this type of education. Yes, because of coronavirus, you know, like we are bound, we are bound to, you know, study online nowadays. So this opportunity is really very special. And as I'm working in HR, in LDC group, we have a huge number of people here. It's like our organization, we have around 18,000 of people. So it's a garment industry before, you know, the the people who work in this sector was not that much educated. Now the situation has been changed. The young, the talented people are coming in this sector. So there is a little bit barrier, like, you know, people coming here after graduation, they want to continue the study. But because of the economical standard of our country, sometimes they have the patience to, like, they want to a higher study but they don't have that much time because office time you know after office time how to go university so it's really tough for them so a lot of talented people in our company many talented people like panna have also a lot of colleagues they are very much talented so this platform university of people this type of platform i guess is uh, like a, a huge opportunity and you know, sometimes people is coming to me, sir. We want to complete the study. So how this company can help us? So we are also thinking like how to encourage these people, these young and talented people, because they are the future of our company as well as the future of the country in the organization and also for the country. So how to encourage them and how to give them a good solution. So it was on my mind. So it's a coincidence. Anna just two days earlier, he told me this concept and it was really great. And getting a degree from this type of university, American University, have international study, it's a great chance, great opportunity. So now I'm lucky because I got an opportunity, I have I got an answer. 
now i can refer people you see you can go there you can have the degree and the most important thing is it's really affordable you have international standard it's affordable you can do your job and still you can study so it's a combination actually people what they want so i do believe it will help the educational platform of bangladesh to be so much higher and standard will be much up now so thank you very much kairesh sir this one this was really a good concept so you know sometimes the idea one idea one concept can change the life of million of people so it was a great great idea i should say so thank you very much and definitely i believe you are going to get a lot of student from bangladesh i, I will refer <laughs> from our organization i think that it yeah yeah please sir please treasure sir please I, you know i think that um, the importance of what we do is because the people who come to us uh, many of them um, you know they come because they want to have a better future yes sir and yes so we only do the degrees that are very um, in demand in the job market so business administration enable people to become businessmen or to open their own business and computer science is the number one uh, uh, profession that is in demand and you can work in local company or today you can even work remotely with companies from around the world um education and you know we always need good teachers because that's the future yeah. of our world and our country yeah. and health science especially Especially in the period of the pandemic, you know, we need more people who understand how to take care. So we do it uh, in order to help people to get uh, better jobs and better future for them and for for uh, for their uh, um, for, as I said before, for the families and for the countries. Because the more educated country is, the more progressive it is. The more it's moving faster, it become more modernized, and it can create more and more. So, education is the place to invest. The more educated people you have, the better country you have. The better people you have, the more satisfied people you have, and it's it's extremely important for the future of each one of us, but also for the entire country and the world. So, yes, I would recommend yeah. that in general, and if they. Want to study with us? They are more than welcome. And as you said, you know, the one thing, well, well, Bangladesh is a big country, so I can't promise that we can take all the Bangladesh at one time. <laughs> yeah. Take as many as we can. Yeah, I mean, I mean that's great, sir. For me, I feel that I am one of the luckiest person in Bangladesh because. The, the, the organization that I'm working, LDC Group, is the biggest and most strongest organization in Bangladesh, and we have all I mean world's best manufacturing equipments. In I mean, no other Bangladeshi company has like this. For example, we have Southeast Asia's biggest automatic warehouse. It's it's 100% automated, and then um, it's uh, it's like I mean, in, in, in the automated warehouse there is no one. It's all the robotic. In, I mean, considering Bangladesh perspective, having this kinds of automatic warehouse under LDC Group is it, it was unique. And I was the person, a lucky person, uh, that was during during that creating on um, the building of this uh, of this automatic warehouse. I was there, and Mr. Joy, uh, he was he was telling me that he wants to tell something about this. I mean, in this um, in this in this conversation, because there is a link. Between education and I mean uh, industry, after most of Bangladeshi people we work, we study. Yes, for sure we want to learn something, but our one of our main perspective is that we need to have a good job in industry. And our industry, our MD and our CEO, they are very open-hearted. They want to welcome I mean as much talented and fresh graduates as possible. So, Joy sir, you want to explain something about the link between industry and education? 
yeah that that is really really important yeah that's because uh, the when the people is coming this organization for a job okay definitely we always promote the young people like the fresh graduate people searching for a job in general you know this sector in general the uh, organization people they always look for the candidate who has experience already but you know like after the only the graduation finish how can everyone get a experience so our organization we are giving the opportunity to that people who has recently completed the graduation and we they have good knowledge from book so we give them practical knowledge because we give them opportunity to work in the field in the actual field but we do we found like it should be more interlinked because the knowledge in our country the people are getting from university is not that much like practical you know like the industry and the british knowledge is not interlinked properly so i do believe that this university this platform will help so the people their knowledge educational knowledge they can apply in the industry and it will be like more related co related and it can be like like work well and it can help each other it will be more practical so that's the expectation from my side and our our organization ldc group we always encourage people for study always we always tell them okay you should finish your study as much as you want so next time we can give them a reference of how they can not only giving a suggestion also give them a proper guideline so that's that's the way it's the platform that's the university you can work you can study both you can be together so thank you very much so panna thank you very much to you also because I, I I don't know honestly I don't know that much about this university. So Panna come to me and telling me this sir, as we are always trying to go up one step further. So this university can help us. So I was interested. Then I say, okay because today is our weekend. You know, is the victory day. Still I join because I am really interested about this university, this platform, and how you work, sir. and how you collaborate the you know the education and the industry related people how you are helping them so this is really a good, good initiative yeah i think it's i mean thank you sir 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 i would yeah i mean yeah we would like to listen your closing word please sir sorry Uh, we would like to request you to to uh, give us some more advice or ideas uh, with the, with your closing note, and we would like to wish you for the 15th Victory Day of Bangladesh. Thank you very much. Um, I think that uh, yes, it, it's a great call, and I'm very encouraged from what, what I hear. I think that it seems like Bangladesh is, is the right place for us. So hopefully, we'll see. Yes. Together we make a big thing. Yeah. 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 Sure. I mean, I mean, as a closing note, as a closing note, I would like to, I would like to mention our father of the nation, Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, and our, our and our visionary uh, prime minister, uh, Sheikh Hasina. Uh, I mean, Joy sir was giving me this idea that we should say Joy Bangla, Joy Bangla Bandhu. Yeah. Yes. Because it's it's our victory day. <laughs> Uh, Shahrish of sir, can you can you any little bit one with us? I mean, I mean this this Bangla tagline. Can you repeat this for us for all our audience and who will be, who will be watching this recorded video in future? I can I I can hardly hear you. So <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, I mean, yeah, uh, we understand. I cannot hear you. Okay. Thank you very much for inviting me, and for this great session. And hopefully, we'll have more of this. So, thank you very much. Yeah, sure.
Thank you so yeah, much. Sure. Thank you. Thank you so much thank for. You. I mean, we're we're very pleased to have you. Thank you so much. Sir. Thank you. Joy Bangla. Thank you. 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 Th